Hello guys and welcome to another book haul. Today I thought I'd film outside as the weather is super super awesome today. The sun is out, I'm in my sunglasses and it just makes it that extra bit better. So I'm just going to reveal to you some books that I got this month so far. The first book being Shift, this is by M. Bailey. And this is one of those books that I've been sort of seeing everywhere but I've just not been picking it up and then eventually I saw it really cheap on Amazon so I thought as a spare of the moment to get it and I didn't realise that there's actually a character in this book with my name so it's even a bit better but it's one of those sort of girly books where there's this character who starts being like the main character like she starts dressing like her, she steals her friend, she steals her boyfriend and then apparently she's killed or something like that so I'm just like oh sounds interesting so I'm looking forward to reading this book when I get to it. The next book is another book that I found cheap and this has been in my wish list for quite a while. This is called The Duff, it's by Cody Keplinger. I've heard really really good things about this. This is a hard cup of coffee and I managed to get this for like really really cheap so super super excited about this one. But it's about this girl and one day she is called by a guy at her school, The Duff, which is a designated ugly fat friend it says there. And she's kind of like not happy about that but things aren't going well for her at home and so she ends up getting with this guy and they are sort of like frenemies like more enemies or whatever but then she starts to discover that she actually might like him more than she should do really so it does sound like one of those really kick-ass awesome reads. The next three books are part of a series. I do have the first two books that I found in the charity shop so I thought I'd get the next three books for cheap as well as I don't care about the condition in books and I got the last three books in the Percy Jackson series. I do have the first two as I say. So I've got the Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse, Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, and Percy Jackson and the Lost Olympian. So now I have the complete Percy Jackson series so far. I look forward to starting that series because all I've heard from that series is just super super amazing things. The next book I'm absolutely excited for because it finally came and this book felt like it took forever to come. But this is Harkin, it's by Care of Nation, this is the paperback book. And inside this one I've got it signed by Care of Nation himself there. So I'm super super excited about this one. I do have the ebook as well that I purchased when he released it on Amazon. But I just wanted a physical copy of this book and he was offering to sign them. So you know, why not? Why not? But absolutely looking forward to this book because I have heard really, really good things about this and Caleb Nation is a pretty dashing young fella. Next of all we have Starfall. This is by W.A. Fulkerson. A few booktubers have been hauling this and reviewing this and sharing it and it does sound really really good. So the author himself sent me his book in exchange for my review and I'm absolutely looking forward to this book. It sounds amazing. On the back here it says Starfall is an exciting adventure for a journey inside a world filled with giants monsters and races not yet known and new mythology begins now. Next of all we have a prince of earth. This is by Stephen J. Carroll. Although it does say book two of the Histories of Earth series, the author actually said you don't have to read the first book to understand what's going on with the second book. But this was a book that was being given away in Lindsay Mead's giveaway video and I was one of the winners and I didn't actually realise that the author was going to inscribe it to me as well. I just thought he was just going to send it to me. And he's actually written inside it and it says, Katie, congratulations, you won. I hope you love this book. And he's just signed it. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm looking forward to reading it because I'm in the mood for a middle grade book. The final four books I'm going to show you I actually purchased just yesterday, which was Thursday, and I went into WH Smith and Waterstones and they both were doing it buy one get one half price of books. And I just saw a couple of books I really wanted to get, so I'm going to get them four. And I will first of all show you the books I got from Waterstones. This first book I'm super super excited for. I really, really want to read this pretty soon actually because it sounds absolutely amazing. This is called Geekhood Close Encounters of the Girl Kind. That's that cover there. It's so bright. And it's by Andy Robb. I don't know why I haven't seen this around before. But it says that Archie is 14 years old and a geek to his core. Geek meets girl, what could possibly go right? So it sounds like it's going to be one of those amazing geeky romance reads and like going to be some hilarity in it and looking so much forward to 
this one's itch. This is by Simon Mayo, and I absolutely love this colour. And Anthony Horowitz says it's absolutely amazing. He says, a great debut, you'll be itching to read more. It does sound really awesome, actually. It says here, um, they had in truth been many bangs, flashes and smells coming from this bedroom in the past, but there had been nothing like this one. It wasn't just the bedroom walls that shook, it was the whole house. Not that H was aware of any of that, as he was unconscious. He would have stayed that way too if it hadn't been for the fact that his eyebrows were on fire. It sounds really cool. And like, I don't know if you can see it, but like, there are some equations there in the cover on the front of the back. And I absolutely love it so much. And it sounds absolutely awesome. And I'm looking forward to this one. And finally, the last two books I got from W. H. Smith. The first book being Toy for Me by Amy Pham. I've been wanting to get this for a while. I don't know why I've left it until now to get it. Because I've just heard really good things about it. And I really want to start this series. So I just picked it up and got it. Along with the book Monument 14. And this is by Emmy Leibon. And this one's freaking awesome. Love, Lust, War, Age, What's It Take to Survive? This is a story of what happens when 14 kids are trapped inside a superstar in the town of Monument. Inside they have everything they could ever need. With no adult supervision, they can do whatever they want. That is the end of this book haul. Let me know in the comment box down below if you've read any of these or looking forward to any of these. And I will see you guys in my next video.